What is up guys, today we're going to talk about Herman. This commander is solid. Now as you can see, I am playing on Bluestacks in here. This is a emulator. So if you want to play on your computer with Rise of Kingdoms, you can check out our link in the description. You can download it from there. Also, I am Shinchi42, a sponsored content creator here in Rise of Kingdoms. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to talk about Herman. This is going to be a very quick guide. I'm going to help you to understand how Herman works in Rise of Kingdoms. So Herman is a commander that is using a skills pat for the talent tree, meaning he is going to be able to gain a lot of rage in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, Herman is quite known for his disability skill. If you ask any Rise of Kingdoms player, if you want to ask which commanders has disability skill, they will say it's Herman. Herman has this ability to disable the target by reducing its rage whenever he casts his skill. And also, he's going to be able to silence the target for two seconds. Whenever we talk about two seconds in Rise of Kingdoms, it is going to be two turns. So when you look into the battle reports, you will see turns instead of seconds. Now, Herman, if you want to obtain Herman in the beginning, when you first start into the game, you will have to choose the civilization named Germany. In Germany, Herman will be your starting commander. So Herman is very well known being an archer commander. So what he does in here, he buffs the archers with attack bonus by 10% at the max level. And what's amazing in here is that Herman also amplified the marching speed of the archers as well for 10%. Now, if you are using Herman to defend your city because you are getting attacked by somebody else, uh, what's going to happen in here, he's going to be able to boost your garrison troops. So whatever, how much troops you have inside your garrison, let's say you're defending your city, your flag, your fortress, whatever inside in that structure will be boosted by 7%. But not just that, he is also going to be able to buff the watchtower attack bonus as well. Now, if you don't know what a watchtower is, this is your watchtower and it does have a damage in here. So as you can, as you can see, there is watchtower attack. Watchtower health, right? So Herman's um, last skill in here makes it quite unique, but not too unique as his first skill. He's going to be able to increase his rage regeneration here by 10%. So whenever he attacks, he has a chance to gain 100 rage. Now, each turn you earn 100 rage. So this is definitely solid because if you trigger that 10%, you're getting extra 100 rage and it's going to really complement his first skill. So whenever he's starting to gain a lot more rage, he's going to be able to disable the opponent as well. Now, he also has an increased normal attack damage bonus for his entire troop. So this isn't just for his archers, right? This is also going to work whenever you are in the city defending and all your troops are going to get buffed. Now, when you're looking into the expertise skill of Herman, what you can see in here is just going to increase the damage factor of the first skill. So if we're looking into commander pairing, um, for epics, definitely Kosunoki Masashige is a very good combination for Herman. They are both archer commanders, so you do get the buff for archers. So for Herman, what you can also do is you can pair it up with Osman as well, which is a very great commander in here, very high scale damage for an epic commander. So you can do Herman and uh, Osman leading with Herman, so you can get the archer buffs. Um, Another thing that you can do once you move into the legendary commanders, you can do a Yi Song Ye and Herman. I would put whoever has the highest level as the primary commander. Now, um, if you pair it up with El Cid, you can do a mega disable commander setup. So just think about that one. We will talk about these legendary commanders in some point in our videos. Herman is a very unique commander, very useful if you really want to um, reduce the rage of the opponents, preventing them from casting skill, he is the guy for you. Another combination that I have thought of is using Herman and Budika. Why did I say Budika? It's because Budika has the ability also to reduce rage by 100. So with this, whenever these two cast their skill, they're going to be able to reduce the target's rage by 200. Budika is a very versatile commander that can be used with anybody. You can also use Joan of Arc if you like. Um, Joan of Arc, of course, has a buff to increase the archer's attack. As you can see, increase archer units attack by 30% and also increase the normal damage bonus as 25% as well. Herman is definitely a solid commander. Um, if you are building into Herman, you can check out this build. We have it more into the moving speed in here, as you can see. So Herman already has some moving speed from his skills. So we're just going to amplify that here with our talent tree. Um, if you are defending in structures, you may want to consider this build. 
and this is a very nice build because it's not really focusing on the archer units but it's going to focus on the entire units that you have in your garrison so this is just really going to be good if you are defending cities if you're doing a defending on flag i would really recommend to focus on the stats here on the archers and then set your garrison there with full archer units so this build that you can see is mainly for defending your city since you will have mixed troops inside your city so with that being said definitely herman is a worth it commander to get especially if you are running with archers so if you're an archer gang herman is your guy thanks for watching guys i hope you guys find this very helpful don't forget to share it to other people and i will see you guys again for more future guides in here